So what is the new direction for One Direction? Well, according to The Sun, Harry Styles might make a move into Hollywood. The breakout star of the group has reportedly been catching the eye of movie mogul Harvey Weinstein, and he's been hotly tipped for silver screen stardom. Weinstein once confessed that there's no question Harry will enter the movie business, and he wouldn't even need to audition for him. In fact, Harvey admitted to offering him a part in a movie, but he couldn't do it because he was on tour. Liam Payne, on the other hand, is looking to spend more time with his family, but is rumored to have hopes to become a DJ and songwriter for other artists. Niall is eyeing a solo career, having already penned a song with Justin Bieber. Louis is set to become a father, so he'll have his hands full. And then there's Zayn, who already broke from the band. Kind of makes you wonder if he saw this whole thing coming. We hope everyone lets Kanye West finish when he accepts the Michael Jackson Video Vanguard Award at the 2015 VMAs. The 38-year-old rapper will receive the prestigious award and will join a short list of his peers who have received the award before, like Beyonce and Justin Timberlake. Oh good, this should help calm Kanye's ego down. Just kidding, but that probably would never happen anyways. The rapper is already having a huge 2015 as he's expecting his second child, a boy, with wife Kim Kardashian. And we can't say what he has to say when the music industry allows him to say his piece on stage and then perform a medley of his greatest hits. Taylor Swift will likely be there too, so Kanye should only be a little nervous that she might try to come steal his thunder. Maybe he'll be extra vanguard. So how much money does Calvin Harris have? Well, according to Forbes magazine, he raked in a whopping $66 million last year, so he's got a lot. In fact, this is the third time he's topped the list in his category, making him the highest paid DJ in the world again. But the most priceless thing about Calvin is the fact that he's dating Taylor Swift, a moneymaker of the highest caliber, which brings their annual earnings to around $146 million. That makes them the highest paid couple, beating out past royalty Beyonce and Jay-Z. Calvin has made so much money as a DJ that he actually out-earns Jennifer Lawrence, Hollywood's It Girl. She reportedly made $52 million for the same time period, which is pretty respectable, just not as much as Harris. Kinda makes you wonder how much these celebs can earn over a lifetime, if there was just a calculator big enough to crunch the numbers. After the heartbreaking news broke that world-famous boy band One Direction are splitting to go in their own directions, Niall Horan took to Twitter to update the fans, writing, OK, so a lot of rumours going around. We are not splitting up, but we are taking a well-earned break at some point next year. And just to confirm Niall's sentiment, fellow bandmate Louis Tomlinson then added, Your support is truly indescribable. It's just a break. Smiley face. We're not going anywhere. Promise, don't worry. The boys are set to take an extended hiatus from March after all current work commitments are over. But March has some bad memories for Directioners as it marks one year since fifth member Zayn Malik's shock exit. Let's hope the boys don't like the solo life too much. Mila Kunis was looking gorgeous as she exited Soccer Madeira in West Hollywood after a celebratory dinner with husband Ashton Kutcher. Mila was enjoying a special birthday dinner turning 32 earlier this month. For the dinner, Mila wore a blue pattern dress that was cinched in at the waist. She added on some wedges for a practical yet stylish edge and wore her brown hair swept to the side. This birthday must have been very memorable for Mila as it's her first as a parent after having daughter Wyatt Isabel Kutcher in October 2014. And check out all those presents Ashton was carrying. It looks like you never get too old for a few gifts. Happy birthday, Mila.